Hello everyone, this is Vagot here, and today I am once again on the Mythic Minecraft server, and today I'm going to be making a basalt farm. So, for those of you that don't know, basalt is made by placing soul soil below, um, blue ice above, blue ice above, and then you have a lava flow on it and you get basalt. It's really easy. So today I'm going to give you a quick overview in how to make a mythic friendly basalt generator. So what you need for this is a couple of buckets of lava. Um, in terms of soul soil, the mines aren't out yet. So to get soul soil, you just want to come over here, grab some soul sand from the nether mine, and then you can use soul soil, I've already got that, soul sand to create a soul campfire. Once you've got yourself a soul campfire, you can place it down. Oops, try not to die to it. And if you mine it without silt touch, you get soul soil. So that's how yeah, you get the soul soil before the server enables it, which is very nice. Radio. Right so uh, to start off this farm, I'm just going to put five soul soil down. Then to the side of this, I'm going to place five blue ice. I am also going to craft up a bunch of chests because they're a nice immovable block. Maybe I should grab obsidian, but whatever. Yeah, so they can become a nice solid block for us. And above here, I'll place lava when we get to it. Um, so lava is going to go there, so I'll just quickly in case where that's going to be. In case that two, three, four, five, and I suppose I should put one on top. Perfection. So the lava will just go in there and create basalt. In fact, if I quickly demonstrate, basalt forms. Easy. And as you see, you get a new recipe. Anyway, uh, from this, we're just going to quickly. Throw in a row of pistons, of sticky pistons. So, one, oops, if I move, two, three, four, five, uh, some glass below, as um, some blocks, and a water stream for item collection. And, whoops, there you go. Um, and then you can just put like a sign or something or whatever you want. Radio. Uh, I also want to probably put an end on this so I don't break everything. All pretty much there is to it. Uh, I'll just put the lava there and that'll be perfect. So yeah, you can see it'll all flow in the same fashion. And there you go, you've got lava. Now what we need to do is uh, hook up these pistons to a clock, so right here, so we'll put, um, put the blocks on top of the restroom, why not? Three, five, uh, redstone line here. Right here, so once we've got the basalt farm made, we're going to hook this up to a, a repeater clock, because hopper clocks are actually banned, which I didn't actually know. This clock... Um, we'll be hooked up to a pressure plate where you're mining it, so in place of the sign here. And this pressure plate, when you're standing on it, um, we'll give a resident signal up to here, so uh, we'll just put this into a little porch tower, I guess. Yeah, why not? Bang. And that will simply power that. So this will be for our clock, so that's powering that block. Uh, yeah. And so this block will have a, a torch out one side. I hadn't really thought through this, but it's okay. Torch out one side, and a piston with a block on its face out the other. So I'll put a sticky piston here, block on its face, so it'll power there completing the circuit and then from this redstone line uh, extend it a bit more so this will be uh, 
one, two, three, four. Set them all to four ticks. Uh, so from here, we'll create a little working clock. So then, when this is powered, uh, the clock will start firing, I believe. Right, yeah, so after a quick bit of confusion with the bud powering, so we'll quickly run this here. That's pretty straightforward. Break that. Place an observer in here. Facing sideways like that. And then when we're running this, there should be no issues whatsoever. Um, and everything should work. So if we stand on this pressure plate, clock should be running. Hopefully we're not breaking the pistons. There you go. And there you go, you've got a working basalt farm. All the basalt will just come straight into your inventory. Just like that. Anyway, I hope you find this useful. And then when you see, uh, I would say use a stone pressure plate just so it, the items don't get stuck on it. But other than that, that's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's about 98% lossless basalt farm. There's still a little bit that gets thrown out the top. But other than that, yeah, it's a pretty good farm. So... Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. This has been Vagger to you on the Mythic Minecraft server once again. And goodbye.